Bongani here is joined on the Magic Couch by none other than Man United's top number one supporter, <laughs> AK. Good to see you on the Magic Couch for the first time. Good evening, Rob. Thanks for having me. You happy with your team's performance? Uh, yes. Well, not well. Over the last few weeks, um, things have gotten a bit better. Yeah. Um, but uh, I think we have to rebuild, man. You know, so we had, uh, tw they say Man United fans have been spoiled. And uh, I suppose these are times, you know, when you have to see who the real fans are and who, who uh, you know, is, is going to switch over to, to, you know, other teams. But, you know, I think that uh, we'll be back. We'll be back. It's not, it's not, it's not going to be like a Liverpool situation, like <laughs> 25 years or anything like that. But we'll be fine. You had to go there. All right. Okay. I won't <laughs> take it personally because you know where my heart lies. But it's okay. I'll understand. <laughs> but when people look at it and they say... You guys only went three points worse off than where yeah. you were last season. That can't be a train smash, surely. I think, you know, maybe, maybe we fired our, our coach prematurely. Um, I think it was always going to be a hard job uh, coming in after Sir Alex Ferguson. I think Louis van Gaal has the, I think the, the cockiness, uh, the, the attitude and the confidence uh, to, to be the manager of Manchester United in order to be the manager of, you know, the greatest club That's in the world. It's dangerous, again, to get a guy like him uh, coming back to form. Well, I've never asked you this. I mean, which, which English premiership team do you support? I'm in Man City. Ah, you see, Man that's, City. That's, exactly, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm talking about. Because in, in, in this era, we'll find out who, all of a sudden, they are like Man City fans. Where did they come from? In Leicester City now. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Have you always been, though? Because, I mean, he raised a good point that Man City became Man City in the main because of the financial injection that came in with Man City yeah. to buy the big stars and to almost get the, uh, the, the yeah. major results. W when did you become a Man City fan? Four years back, when Yaya joined. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you followed Yaya? Yeah, yeah, I follow Yaya. I suppose yeah, that's yeah. not a bad reason. Okay, I mean, uh, it's okay, but you must teach him, though, to be a good loser. Because when he lost in Abuja, Nigeria, that CAF award, he didn't take it too well. I didn't like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I also didn't like it. Yeah, well, yeah. Yaya is going to be Yaya. He's, the, he's, he's arguably the greatest you know, African player we've had in a long time. Definitely for me since... Maybe J.J. Okocha yeah. or Benny McCarthy, you know? And Benny actually, and that's, and that's the sad part. When it comes to, like, world awards or even mm. CAF awards, the mm. fact that, you know, Benny didn't actually lift it yeah. is, for me, like, such a sad thing because yeah. some way he deserved it, but he Definitely. didn't quite get there. Steven Bernard, also another great yeah. export yeah. of yeah. ours. Yeah. Uh, good to see him playing again. Yeah. But going back to Man City, do they have what it takes, though? He is not too happy, kind of happy with Man City. Yeah, we have the quality in the team. You know, we, 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 we've been having the same squad, you know. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's been three years now, you know. We, we have the experience in the team, you know. The players know how to win trophies, especially the Premier League. <laughs> so, <laughs> Why did you look at so, me like that? <laughs> yeah, so, we, we, I'm confident, man. We have what it takes, you know. We, we're doing well even in the Champions League, so... Yeah, yeah. look, I, I think for, as a Manchester United fan, yeah. you know, b there's banter along, uh, you know, between football uh, supporters. And... For us here in South Africa, it's not so bad if City wins the league because, you know, the, it's not as bad as if maybe Arsenal had to win the league or Liverpool, then I'd have a tough time. Over there, though, you know, for the people living in England or living in Manchester particularly, I'm sure it's, it's pretty rough. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it is. You were at the, was at the Champions League final yes, 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 um, yes. with the great uh, Benny himself. Mm. Now, when you look at this year's Champions League and what yeah. ultimately might happen. Yeah. Are we likely to see any shocks? Does it stay within the same, the bosses, the Madrids, etc.? Well, you know, for me, I just have to say that once my team goes out, it's game over. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's game over. <laughs> no, I think obviously you'll see that. I think PSG is maybe overdue a, yeah. a, a good run in the tournament. I wouldn't be surprised if Chelsea, you know, slack in the league and then do really well in the Champions League. They have the ability in the Champions League. Um, City, I suppose, also overdue a, a good run. Are they still in? I yeah. wouldn't know. <coughs> <laughs> they're, they're hanging in there. <laughs> no, I mean, that a far better run. I think uh, Pellegrini was under so much pressure because mm. uh, the talk of Pep Guardiola moving across uh, also became quite a, a, a thing for him. If, if you had to take a, a bet right now, Pep Guardiola has stated he is going to be going to the EPL, mm. but to which team would you like to see him play? At Man City. Man City? Yeah, I mean. Because yeah. you got the money. Yeah, we got the money. <laughs> yeah, we can afford. It. <laughs> and I, I don't think it's it's ironic because he plays for for Sunder. So. Ah, okay, okay. I, <laughs> I see where you guys are going with this. Huh? I see. All right. Now, mm. quickly coming back to local football here, Pulwane City up against uh, Budvest Vitz. I mean, I don't know which way it's going to go. I don't even know which team, aka supports, in the country. But after mm. this, we'll find out. All right. So now when people are. 
are speechless. And I think that's exactly what's happened on Twitter right now. If according to a lot of the tweets I'm looking at, and Unkila is being one of them, he says, all I thought uh, you can do is sing, a.k.a. <laughs> but the way you speak about football, you say, wow, that's all I can say. Thank People you very much. People don't know how much you love football. I, I love football. I mean, sometimes I say, you know, with sports and music, you know, we want to be the footballers. Well, at least me, I wanted to be David Beckham when I was young. Um, and, you know, kind of footballers also have a, a appreciation for musicians, which is pretty cool. All right. Tell me about Hot for 2016, because mm. Hot for 2016 is like massive. It's in the UK. Yeah. BBC are out there. The likes of Drake. Yeah. Uh, people spoke about them. They yeah. went on to bigger things. Yeah. You are there in that list. Well, Robert, I'm not here to talk about music. I'm here to talk oh. about sports. No, I want to know about <laughs> this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, BBC, uh, BBC One Extra, which is, uh, you know, a, a, the more urban subsidiary of, um, of the, you know, the BBC in the UK yeah. uh, has named me as uh, one of the international acts to look out for in 2016 wow. um, and you, you've seen a lot of artists you know like Drake for instance like you like you've mentioned who have been on that list and gone on to do amazing things internationally and that's really a big deal for me because I've always been about taking my music outside the borders of our country into our continent into Europe last year I went to the UK on tour for the first time Tim Westwood all those types of things nominated for BETs blah 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 blah, blah. so for me it's 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 this year and it's also the year of my album my third album it's about becoming a, a, a bigger force in terms of the world and not just in our, in our own country, which is a big deal for me. Wow. Has it taken you aback the fact that not only do you get nominated for awards outside of the borders of SA, mm. but then you go across to actually win those awards and you yeah. bring them back into SA? Do you think, though, that the acknowledgement is now worldwide as you aspire? I would say that African music and, and where it is and... And artists like, you know, maybe Burner Boy or Wizkid or even if you go back, Yvonne Chaga Chaga and so forth have laid the foundation for us in terms of Africa getting recognized. But I think South Africa right now and, and, the, and the stuff that's going on, there's only a few artists in our country who are really getting the worldwide acclaim. And I want to be one of those people to tell my story and to, to uh, let people know what's really going on in our country and mm -hmm. what our swag is like and what we talk like and, you know, all those types of things. Yeah. So when I go overseas and I win those awards, for me, it feels like it's not just me winning those awards. I'm winning that for, I feel like maybe I'm playing for like... Bafana Bafana of music or, or, or something, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Except, <laughs> except, I'm, except I'm winning. You're winning. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask which, which stage of Bafana are you talking about that. Mm. Please do something wonderful for us. Just shake this man's hand. Because oh. the reason why I brought the two of you on as well <laughs> is because he's also going to Portugal. Oh, he yeah. signed up a major deal to oh, go to Portugal. Congratulations, oh, congratulations. So bro. you are Here's ripping it up internationally. Uh huh. Hot for 2016. Yeah. He's hot for 2016 and beyond <laughs> in Portugal. <laughs> in you Portugal. Know? Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, your musical taste stretches how far? Do you have him in your hot list, top <laughs> 10? Of course, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah? He's, Would you put him on the, the spot, man. No, man. He's, he's one of the best <laughs> in the country. You know, um, he's, he's very good. So, yeah. who wouldn't have him in the playlist? Just one line, you know, mm. from AKA Badass. Composure, which one? Oh, no, you're gonna make him rap. <laughs> holy now, holy now, something. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully, they don't ask you to sing in Portugal, otherwise, you're not gonna do a good job of representing us there. But, Zamil and Vanda, don't worry. Yeah. Now, I don't know, AK, the, your list of achievements yeah. has been ridiculous. Thank you. Um, the way you've dominated the space mm. has been ridiculous. But then people don't know that it's about the hard work that you put in. Mm. It's not just the waking up in the morning and then luck comes your way. Yeah. When it comes to, as you say, album number three, mm -hmm. and you are aware of your achievements prior to that, how, how nervous are you in saying that will you hit the mark as you did previously? Well, for me, it, it's, it's about proving it to yourself. You have to prove it to yourself first. So when you first come up with your debut album, you take your whole life to make your first album, you know? Um, and obviously that was well received. And when I made my second album, Levels, which had all eyes on me and congratulating all those things, um, for me it was about, okay, can I do it again? Mm. And that was more pressure, the second album. Now that I've done that and I've gone on to do greater things and things are shaping up for me now, you know, the pressure's kind of off me in terms of, well, can I do it again? It's more like, what can I do next? Okay. You understand? For me, I feel like there's no bigger pressure than the pressure I already put on myself. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I love what I do, much like you love what you do. So it doesn't mm -hmm. feel like work. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You just 
the, the, the passion for it and, and, and the love for what you do drives you on to make you know, better music or play better or be more dedicated or make more sacrifices and so on. All right. Uh, before I release you, because you've got to kind of prepare mm. for your, <laughs> your next performance, mm. as Bongani would know, mm. he deals with haters. As <laughs> Bito Msimane would know, that he dealt with fans that hated him at the start of the season. They yeah. were asking for him to go. Today, we can say he wins the Coach of the Month award. Mm -hmm. You have massive haters. How the <laughs> hell do you deal with that? Um, I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't really want to talk about that much because... In anything that you do, uh, you can't please everybody. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But you have to take care of the people that you are pleasing, and that's the fans. Those are the people that buy the music, come to the shows, and, you know, pretty much made me who I am. Uh, for me, there's been a dramatic shift with me last year becoming a father, and that mm. it made me a bit more measured, it made me a bit more patient, it made me think, you know, if I say this or I do this, what repercussions are there, not just for me, for my daughter mm. yeah. so now I'm thinking I've got this impenetrable <laughs> shield man you can't get through to me right now I'm just in my razor wire I'm just in my zone man yeah.